Hey everybody, JD from J and J Toy Giants. Wanted to intro this video and saying that you are watching part two of Jaden's TikTok live of unpacking his Lego minifigures series twenty-five. Enjoy. Keep on cruising. Five. So yeah, it's it's so cool how they just gave it heads. People, my those creators might be sneaky, but they didn't fool me. So. Yeah, nice try for f fooling me. Now, next up is a series I was continuing on, but I never got the chance to finish it. It is series 24. This is Garrett, the farmer's partner. I just stole the name from the Beast Face Army. Sorry for taking the names. But he is a guy dressed up as a carrot. I do have the hair paste. It's an orange hair. Don't have it right now. But I love the new farmer's market sign, the new clothes, and all that. They could have gave him like a bucket of carrots or a carrot, right? But they just gave him that. Like, many figures would have like two pieces. Like the 24, they'd have two pieces or one piece. Just I'm thinking, um, like the weight lady. I mean, the fitness lady and the husband and the, uh, who is it? Oh, yeah, the gamer girl, and I technically count the Dracula and the flying guy, because they have claws. But, yeah, really cool minifigure. I love the outfit. New carrot piece. It makes you look like, oh, yeah, he's able to eat. But, yeah, anything else? Just, I think it's kind of a... Uh, a, a, I'm, I'm really going to be honest, a 3 out of 10. I'm sorry, I really love this, but it, it, it's kind of weird. Now, going on, we're going to start doing too many figures in a round to get quicker. We will do the Queen and the Port Kid. The, the thing about this is they made it look off of the French Revolution. It, she looks like a French queen and then a poor kid. He has a newspaper piece and she has a dog, but I forgot it. But it, it, it's cool pieces, like new new pants, new, new bag, new hat, even new newspaper piece. So cool how we get these minifigures. Anything else? I don't know. I just like it in one way of this, but yeah. This, uh, I think it is okay, but. Uh, the soccer lady, dinosaur, the falcon leader, and the alien. Dude, four. These are cool. Like, new headpiece, new gun, like, new cave. I, I got her off of the, um, Lego Land. You can trade minifigures for it. But, yeah, I think it's really cool, like, how they made these and all that kind of stuff. But, yeah, really cool minifigures. I break all of them. And I, uh, probably an 8 out of 10. Except for the dinosaur, I'll give him a 10 out of 10. Moving on to the next series, we will be talking about series 23. Series 23 came out a long time ago. Yep, sorry. Here's the Sugar Fairy. The Elf. The Elf. The Nutcracker, and there is a snowman, but I wasn't able to find it. And the last one, the reindeer. These are so cool. They dressed them up for a series. It's so cool how they made like Christmassy figures. Like they made 
mini figures like those, like there was a Santa, an elf, a gingerbread man, a Yeti, right? All those kind of things. While you can't find them in the stores, but I just feel like it's so cool to have these. If I had the snowman, it would be really cool because then I could have said it's frosty. But I've had these for a long time. I had to go out. I've done this. Uh, thanks, Pac Man. It's Pac Man for liking the live. But, anywho, I like these. Uh, I'm gonna rate them as 9 out of 10. So, the next ones I am going to do are the animal costumes real quick. The turkey, the wolf, and the dragon. And technically I'm just gonna add the reindeer in here for a quick second. But yeah. Dinosaur real quick. But the thing is is about when when Lego minifigures get these. After these messages we'll be right back. JD here with J&J Toy Giants to take a break from this video to talk about our newest partnership with a company called TubeBuddy. As a content creator, it can be a hassle trying to get your videos out to the people that are in your niche and just can't seem to find your channel. But with TubeBuddy, they give you all the necessary tools and information to be able to get your videos out to the exact people who want to watch your content. We've been using TubeBuddy for the last year and it's actually helped us be able to grow this whole past year and you can too. TubeBuddy helps you in a variety of ways using such things as the keyword search, the actual choosing the per perfect thumbnail, and also helping you with tags to be able to assist the algorithm to actually get your content over to the people in your niche. Click the link in the description of this video to start using TubeBuddy and tell them J&J Toy Giants sent you. Keep on cruising. Enjoy the video. Commercial's over, don't you know? Now it's time to watch the show. Is that you have to be careful because they have tail piece or special piece. And I really like the animal pieces and how they came with all these like different ones, like a wolf, turkey, a dragon, a reindeer, and a dinosaur. In Series 24, they do have a dinosaur. I don't have it in my hands at all. I don't have them. I wish I had him. I'm still collecting them. I could finish the series off. But yeah, anywho, let's move on with the coolest one off of series 23 is the ship captain. Oh my god, how do I describe this? This has to be with the train kid. This Basically, it looks like the Titanic. It kind of. And I like the new captain piece. I'll take off his whole suit and show you. Here is the boat and the captain. It's cool how they made like a boat just like this. To try to make that. And then they have like these holes to put things in and it looks like a ship. Love the Captain Minifig, they did have one, Series 10, and it came with a seagull and a compass, not dressed up, no, vehicle. But I really like this so much, just like the train, so I'd give this a 20 out of 10, well, 21 out of 10, so yeah. Now, moving on, one more of 24 is the Zookeeper. I really like him. He comes off koala piece, and I give him a 10 out of 10. Moving on to my favorite series 
I have collected them all. And kind of weird because I'm already telling you this, but I have collected all of the series Disney 100 minifigs. I've collected all of them. And I just thought, oh, if I'm showing off these minifigures, I could show off these guys. And I just think it's so cool to have these. I mean, they already stopped selling selling them just because of, um, just because Disney 100's over. And now that um, Series 25 is in the way, it's hard getting these because Series 25 is in the way. And I can tell. I like these. We have Ernesto, um, Cruella, Pocahontas, Sorceress Mecky, Mulan, and Baitmax. I love the new molds, cool molds. For I give it a 10 out of 10. The others, a 9 out of 10. Cool. But not really cool. But yep, my opinion. So let's move on. I will I will do two. Uh, so I'll do a villain and a and a hero. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk about these two. If I had the Disney Castle, could have had Snow White. Because I'm gonna tell you later. Here we are. We got Princess Princess with Prince Naveen as the frog. We got Dr. Julian. If I had the Disney Hundred set, I'm gonna show you why I would want it. Is because what they did is they gave us a cool piece. They also added this. The Evil Queen. If I had that, I would have the Evil Queen, Snow White, Prince, and I'd have, um, who is it? I'd have Prince, Prince, um, Princess Tiana and, um, Prince Naveen. If I had the Disney 100 Castle, cool minifigures, cool pieces. I love the new frog. I love the Evil Queen with the new mirror. I give these three a 30 out of 10. Moving on, we will be talking about Princess Isabel and the Queen. In the first series they had, they had Alice, the Cheshire Cat, get anyone else but if I had that I'd have the evil queen and I have um Aurora just I dropped something but the thing cool thing about <sighs> the queen of hearts is she came with heart but then I lost it but if I had Alice here then I would have had the um Alice wonder set and I have to talk about this. This isn't gonna get off my hair until I reveal, until I tell it about you. But I give her a s seven out of 10. Aurora. Oh my God, I love it. I love how they made it and you can make her sleep. Made it and you can make her sleep. instead of the uh, instead of the three good fairies why didn't they give them the three good fairies I think it would be more better if they gave them the three good fairies instead of an owl but cool minifigure makes you sleep and yep moving it on I have to talk about these two because these two go to get together really good Pinocchio and Jiminy Cricket. Oh my god. I love them. I love the new pieces they gave 
for Pinocchio, like new hair, um, new new face, and for Jiminy Cricket, new hat, even the new umbrella piece and neck collar. Oh my God, it is to die for. This is they made duos, three duos in this. Oh, well, actually four duos. I'm just gonna show off the four duos that they made. Well, let's bring back these people real quick. They have, yo, know, Jimmy Cricket. And you forgot, you have Princess Tiana, Dr. Julian, Prince John, and Robin Hood. These are the three demos I just need to show off the last two duos that are, let's take them off now that you know, and the last two duos, these are really cool that we got, are Coco, and I showed him earlier, and Nesto de la Cruz, de la Cruz. now these duels all together are amazing i love how they how they made the duos you have to give a thumbs up to the duos now my last one oh my god oh my god this is to die for um they have stitch 102 they have another stitch in the first series i don't own that that stitch normally yeah, they gave him guns, but why didn't they give him his teddy? Well, I think in the first one. If I had that, they could have just like improved it, like give him the teddy or give him, give her, um, give him, I don't know, somebody else. But yeah, I like it and all cool stuff. And then I hope you enjoyed all this. But thank you for watching our live and catch you later. Bye.